Ooh, look at that one. <laughs> Is that not beautiful? One of the most rare and expensive games on the GameCube. I mean, what, what could you do with this amount of money? You could uh, buy a nice car. We talked about a nice down payment on a house. It's out Pretty to close. about $29,000 worth of games that you're getting. About 30 k What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of The Retro Life. Basically, the day in the life of a retro game and toy collector, buyer, reseller, enthusiast. We cover it all in the series. And today, we have a very special video because I buy a freaking video game collection from somebody. Now, not just any video game collection, not just like 10 or 15 games. We're talking thousands of games, including the Nintendo GameCube set, the entire North American GameCube set, the, well, at least the retail released games. So this is a huge purchase for me, guys. I think it would be uh, for most people, but we're talking about a deal that is just under $20,000. That is right. That is how much we are paying uh, for this collection. So there's a couple reasons why I am buying this collection. So my buddy Matt reached out to me. He also goes by Retro Wolf 88 He has an amazing YouTube channel that you guys need uh, to go check out. Uh, as you'd expect, he covers a lot of GameCube content because he is an avid GameCube collector. He has amassed this entire collection, but here uh, as of late, he has decided to start a business. And in doing that, he wanted to start the business debt free, which is super wise. So he decided to sell off a bunch of games to basically fund the endeavor. So he reaches out to me, starts talking to me about wanting to sell all of these games. And initially I was super overwhelmed guys, because I think it was like $37 in video games. And I'm like, whoa, I, I don't even think this is a possibility, but we start to talk about what he has. And then I start to really think and dream about having a GameCube collection. Guys, I never find GameCube games out in the wild. I don't know why, I just don't see them. I think in the past two years, I may have found like 10 or 15 GameCube games. So I started to think about this. I'm like, man, when would I ever have an opportunity like this again? And then he started showing me all the other games he was trying to sell. And I was honest with him. I was like, man, okay, I'm really interested in these games, but really the GameCube games. If I bought any of the other ones, I would probably try to flip them to recoup some of my money because we are talking about tens of thousands of dollars. And he was like, man, that is totally cool with me. Actually, the GameCube stuff is what I really want to kind of stay together. So we go back and forth and I end up picking out uh, a lot of the games, not, not all the games, but a, a majority of the games. And we land on just under 20 grand for all of the games that you're going to see uh, me pick up from Matt. So he's driving in all the way uh, from Tennessee to meet up to get these games. And guys, this is wild. This is crazy how much money we are spending on these video games. But I am I am so excited uh, to get all these games. And again, there's going to be a lot of games here to be able to flip to recoup some of our money, but obviously not all of it. But still, but still a GameCube collection is going to be absolutely crazy. I actually have the entire N64 set. So to have N64 all the way through GameCube, is wild. So I am pumped. You guys are going to see the whole journey of me and Matt basically doing the exchange and talking about how he has collected all these games, some of his memories behind certain finds, and I'm just pumped for you guys to see the whole thing. Let's get into it. So first order of business is to create some space in the game room. Uh, as you guys can see, it is pretty filled. We got the Nintendo cab here. We got the Nintendo cabbie here. Uh, at me and Adam are watching some Wizard, one of our favorite movies, right? Okay, we have $47.12, which I think we can double, maybe triple by the time we get to Reno. It took me forever. It took me forever to find this VHS. But regardless, so we are trying to make some room for, uh, as I talked about previously, the GameCube collection, and a, a complete GameCube collection. And the problem is, guys, it's big. I think there's six, uh, close to 600 games in the GameCube collection. So the only place really that we have any space is over here on this wall. Now I am fairly certain this is not going to 
uh, suffice for space. But uh, it is a start, so I'm going to take down everything on this wall, and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to find someplace else to put it. This is mostly like my Switch stuff, so you can kind of get in here real quick, Adam. My Switch collection is all in here. Got a couple Wii U games, and then just kind of randomness, right? Uh, some VHS, my DS games, all my all my Goosebumps books. Was was anybody a Goosebumps fan? Oh God, either like jammed in there, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. There it is. I know you're scared. Just try to breathe. You just have the wind knocked out. So all my Goosebumps books. Where am I gonna put this stuff now? I honestly don't know. I'll probably move all this stuff to like my downstairs living room or at least this stuff. But then I did have another idea. So in this closet right here, this is gonna be really tight guys. So in the closet, I have like board games over here and stuff like that. And I have all my, all my game shirts. It's like, I just got this game shirt. My wife got me this for Christmas, but uh, I thought about basically taking down this bar there's a bar here and there's a bar here and basically taking that taking those down and then putting in another bookshelf in here i think that would house maybe all my vhs or something like that so that will be a project for another time but really the name of the game right now is making enough space for these gamecube games i think i think these fit like 350 ish mm, yeah around there like 350 so we're gonna get maybe just halfway through right here on this shelf so That'll give us a little bit of space. There was something else. Oh, this right here. I've had this hoverboard, uh, Back to the Future hoverboard forever. And Adam was like, uh, why the heck are you not putting it right here? I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks sweet. And then he even suggested maybe doing like a shelf. Y'all tell us down below. What do you think? You think this way? Or you think this way? I don't know. We got a lot of projects to do, but for now, we are going to take down all of this stuff and then we will uh, update you after we do that. Okay guys, we thought for sure this bin was gonna be plenty big enough, but as you can see, it was not. Uh, and this thing probably weighs, what do you think this weighs, Adam? Oh, a good <laughs> 75 pounds. It's insane. So we had to get another bin. So a couple things to talk through, obviously. We got space. We have roughly 350 spots to put GameCube games. Not gonna be enough, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to make it work. Here are some GameCube cases that a GameStop gave me. Literally, I went to a GameStop, I think I told you Adam, went to a GameStop and uh, the guy that was working there was like, hey man, I watch your channel. I'm like, oh, thanks man. And he was like, and I actually been saving these for you. I knew that you come in here sometimes and was like, uh, we actually have to send, they, they, don't, they don't keep like older game cases like GameCube and uh, anything like kind of before that, PS2, PS3. I guess PS3 they take, or they still take, but they don't take these. And he was like, hey man, you want these? I'm like, yeah. So I'm gonna see if maybe these cases can be upgrades for the games I'm about to get from uh, my, my buddy Matt. And then I was gonna show you over here real quick. So this is my modest GameCube collection. Like not a ton of games in here by any means, but I don't know, I don't even know how many games are in my GameCube collection. Maybe 30, so like 30 to 40, maybe a little more than that. I got some great titles in there, uh, but I'm just gonna hold on to all of these and I'm gonna see which ones look better. And then I'll end up, I'll end up selling, selling mine to hopefully recoup some more of the money that we just spent on this entire collection. So, guys, it's happening. It's happening. Uh, the next time you see a clip, it will be us getting the entire North American GameCube collection. Hey, Phil, what do you think? Nervous, excited. I mean, what, what could you do with this amount of money? You could uh, buy a nice car. We talked about a nice down payment on a house, a rental house. No. We're talking video games. It's, Sun, it's gonna be fine. Sun's so bright. It's gonna be fine. I'm not worried. My wife isn't worried. All right, man, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. The trip was all right? The trip was great. Look at this truck, dude. Truck's a little dirty. This is nice, bro. Well, let's at least look at the games right now. Let's do it. Let's take a look. I'm ready, bro. Zelda. Cue Zelda music, or Zelda sound effect. They're just boxes, man! There's no game! Where are they? Wow, how many boxes is this? We have 12 small Walmart boxes, and then <coughs> one random Amazon box. Okay. Each of these boxes can hold about 88 DVD size games. Okay. All 
All right, so here we have NES. Okay. I will let you have the arms. Sweet. Oh, wow. Y'all, this is just one box. Literally packed full. <laughs> is that not beautiful? Oh my gosh. Bionic Commando Blaster Master. One of Aaron's Riffo's favorite games. That's true. It is one of my favorite games. I mean, yeah, there's just so much to go through. But most of these carts are in really good condition. You've got a few that are, you know, like this tennis. It's got a little bit of label right. damage, but for the most part, these carts are beautiful. I that, love, dude, I love this game. Fantastic. Game. I grew, up, I grew up playing this one. We got a lot. We got a lot. What about this one, dude? That is a hidden gem. Really amazing game. Conquest at the Crystal Palace. We got a lot to talk about. Let's look at maybe a couple other ones. Some, yep. Maybe some GameCube. Yeah. We will good. get deeper into these games back in the game room, but I did want to see some of these before before we head head over that way. So this has GameCube R and T. Okay. Wow. Oh, I just cut Pokemon Coliseum. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay. Okay. He told me about this. Look yes. at these. Look at these cover or these little cases. Retroprotection.com. Wow. Fantastic website. Look at that. Yeah. So all of them? Every single game is in a plastic protector. Look at that, y'all. Amazing. Well, let's, let's head back to the game room and we'll kind of like dig into this stuff deeper. Sounds good, man. Back in the game room. Here we are. Look at all of the game boxes. My wife is worried. She told me she's worried that uh, the floor is going to cave in. She's <laughs> like, how much weight is that going to be? So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of these boxes over here. So these are all these are all GameCube. This is the GameCube collection all through here. <coughs> but we thought let's go through some of these first. We're not going to go through every single one of these games because I mean, how long will we you know, be here? But I do want to crack open some of these and let Matt kind of tell us Maybe a couple stories about some of these games, maybe where he got it, uh, maybe some interesting facts about some of these, because these are ones that he has found all over the place. So will you tell us first, Matt, like, mm -hmm. how do you acquire video games? Like, what's kind of like, yeah. like, what avenue? So, it's, it's honestly, it's a little bit of everything, man. Uh, flea markets, thrift stores. I have a lot of luck at flea markets in my area. We have a lot of good flea markets. But a lot of this I've acquired by purchasing large game lots okay. well below retail value, as well as a couple of entire collections that I've gotten well below retail value. Okay, cool. I mean, obviously, a huge heavy hitter right there. Castlevania Bloodlines. That's, that's crazy. We actually have this in... The $10 game collection, so. Introducing Castlevania Bloodlines for Sega Genesis, the most horrifying vampire hunt ever. Two new heroes, plus hordes of evil enemies and ghastly ghouls. It's intense adventure from Konami. Boxes and boxes. Look at this, you can start pulling them out too, man. Like I said, we're not gonna go through every single one of these, but just all of these. A lot of these are complete, right? Oh yeah, a lot of them are. Fantastic game right here, Rocky mm -hmm. Hot Adventures. Genesis was the uh, was the uh, console that me and my dad grew up playing. We played Genesis all the time back in the day. So, a lot of great games in here, guys. Again, we can't go through every single one of these, but just like Maximum Card Carnage, Spider Man, uh, Shining in the Darkness. I don't know anything even about that one. So, really great Genesis games. I guess let's move on over to this box. This is like Christmas to me because I have no idea. I actually don't even know what's in a lot of these boxes because um, I kind of talked through this later on too. The GameCube stuff, I'm definitely gonna keep for my personal collection. And then a lot of this other stuff, if I don't have it, I'm gonna add it to my collection, but we will end up probably flipping some of this to kind of recoup some of the money. You know the name of the game. Oh yeah, So uh, we'll do a little bit of that. So this is Christmas, because I don't know what's even in these boxes. <laughs> oh, see, I actually don't have Star Fox 64 in the box. This is complete, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. What else we got? This is a big one. That's a big one right there, y'all. Mm -hmm. Link to the Past, one of my favorite games of all time. Cool, man. Some great games here. Mm -hmm. So let's move on to the next box. Here we go, y'all. NES and what? And oh, few. and a few. <laughs> I've learned this about Matt already. Now, we've, I've known Matt for, I don't know, a year now almost. Mm -hmm. He's a very detailed dude. Oh, which I, which I appreciate. Sure. I, I, I definitely appreciate that. Good yeah. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that one. Yeah, that's the gray cart version. The the Tengen black cart version is in one of these boxes as well. So oh, we wow. So I didn't know about this one. Yeah. I know that um, I had the Indiana Jones uh, Ubisoft. Mm -hmm. There's a Ubisoft, different game, but yeah. kind of hard to get. That's a clean cart too. And there's a lot of box games. <laughs> How many games is probably even in this box? That box probably has close to 100 games in it, I would say. 
So I will probably, I will probably do a whole another video mm -hmm. just going through a lot of this stuff. Because oh, for sure. again, this this video would be hours long oh, if yeah. we went through every single game. And what I really want to highlight in this video is the GameCube stuff. So mm -hmm. let's crack open these two, and then we're gonna get into the GameCube stuff. <laughs> Crazy. Even more. Even more. This, I mean, Yo Noid. I love Yo Noid. Yeah. Gilligan's, I didn't even know there was a Gilligan's Island NES game. I think it's terrible, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it's not very good. Ooh, look at that one. Yeah. Now here is a hidden gem. The Guardian Legend. I, I feel like I've seen that on people's lists. Fantastic game. Hard, Fandom. really fun. A shooter? Uh, it's kind of, I think, if I remember correctly, it's a combination shooter with like a 2D platformer. All right, let's move on to the next box. We'll go through these at some point. Oh, finally. Yes. <laughs> Finally, uh, Baron Stain. I don't know how you say it. Look at that one, y'all. One of my favorite 3D platformers. Banjo Tooie. I mean, the most genius sequel name ever. Yeah. Banjo Tooie. Yeah. I don't even think I realized that until like later just now. on. <laughs> just Adam, now. Just now. All right. I mean, look, guys. Look, we'll go through these at, through these at some point. But there is just a little. There is a little taste of all of the games we have to go through, and categorize and. See if I have them and figure it all out. A lot of work ahead of you. Okay, so we got the GameCube stuff next. So we're about to go through all of the GameCube stuff. We're gonna pull out a lot of the games. Now, not every single game is gonna fit on here. We, I think we mapped it out. We're like mm -hmm. 100 short. About 100 short, yeah. So we, theoretically, we could maybe get make some shelves mm -hmm. and maybe stack them up here and actually have the complete GameCube collection mm -hmm. over here. So we may do that. These are all the games I have. I talked about this in the previous clip before we actually met you, Matt. Mm -hmm. But um, these are the ones I have. I'm gonna probably upgrade any of them that I, mm -hmm. maybe if maybe my Rampage looks better than yours, I don't know, maybe it doesn't. Mine is sealed, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is, so no. And then what we're gonna do is is he may actually, this sounds crazy, he may actually buy some of mine to restart his GameCube collection because this is what we do as collectors. We're insane. All right, exactly. we're psycho. He's gonna, <laughs> he's basically gonna try, I mean, I guess to, you know, hope, you know, get yep. the whole collection over again. Yep. So, okay, let's move over to the GameCube stuff. So as we are opening these up, I want you to kind of like talk us through um, GameCube. Like mm -hmm. why, why GameCube? Why did you start collecting this specifically? So, you know, I grew up playing NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64 whenever I was a young kid. And then whenever I got into my teenage years, um, I got a GameCube Christmas 2001 with Luigi's Mansion. Okay. And mm. it absolutely blew my mind. The graphics in Luigi, Luigi's Mansion, the way it played, it just blew my mind. And uh, there's a very expensive game. This is about a $500 game, one of the most rare and expensive games on the GameCube. Ooh. It's a variant. It's a double pack. I guess now at this point would be a good time for you to explain why. Mm -hmm. Like, why are you selling this whole collection? The yeah. whole GameCube collection, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously this is not an easy decision for me, but I, for the last year, year and a half, I've wanted to start a business. You know, I I didn't want to go into debt with this business, so I decided to, uh, to sell a large chunk of my collection in order to get the money that I need to start this business. And then the idea is, I make extra money from this business, pay off debt, have extra disposable income, get it all back. Yep. And I'm going to turn it into a video series, collect, recollecting the GameCube. I'm going to turn oh, it into I a series that. on my channel. I love that. That's awesome. And for me, this right here, this is probably the most expensive game. Yeah. This is easily the rarest and most expensive game out of any of these boxes. Pokemon box. Now, not even a game. Not it's a like game. a demo type of thing. So what it is, it's a software application for Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire where you can store your Pokemon on a memory card, which is in the box. And you can actually, it's like a, a Pokemon storage device for the GameCube. Okay. I guess you might want to know why I'm buying mm -hmm. a complete collection. So the GameCube is interesting for me. So I was a hardcore gamer, uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and 64. And then from there, mm -hmm. I kind of stopped. I kind of stopped gaming. I think, when did the GameCube come out? Oh, two? 2001. 2001. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started high school. And I got really into sports mm -hmm. and girls <laughs> in high school. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine that, being yeah, a 14-year-old right. boy. And I just stopped playing a lot of Nintendo. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you think about Nintendo, a lot of it is geared sometimes mm -hmm. towards younger right. a younger audience. The right. colors, mm -hmm. the, it's so vibrant, Mario parties, things like that. Mm -hmm. Now we're in our mid thirties and we still mm -hmm. like it. So oh, yeah, it's not that we can't enjoy it. Yeah. I just started playing a lot of Maddens and stuff like that, Tiger. Mm -hmm. And I just, I got out of game, or I got out of games and I thought, 
This is really the only console. Oh, that's a big heavy one. Heavy hitter, heavy hitter. Back to back. So this is really the, the console that I am not super educated in. Mm -hmm. I know a ton about everything pre-GameCube. So for me, I thought, how would I ever have another opportunity, really, mm -hmm. to do this? I also knew how much this meant to you, yeah. to, to Matt. Mm -hmm. And I thought, man, I, I want it to be in a good home for him. Mm -hmm. It's the same for him as well. Oh, yeah. And this is going to be in my in my personal collection. I mean, I, I have, again, I have maybe 50 GameCube mm -hmm. games to get all of these is incredible and I'm honored I'm honored to have it and dude what I love about this is if I ever come back to town I can actually come visit my yes. game collection my old game I love collection. that I love that I don't know if that was kind of, we got kind of a glare working but so how much how much is that bad boy uh probably about two to three hundred dollars two to three hundred yep. and then this one is a big one too it's probably the same about two to three hundred dollars crazy y'all yeah. crazy how much some of these. this one shot up too this one's going for about uh, almost 100 bucks now wow mm -hmm. gamecube stuff is is crazy so again also why i wanted to buy this collection is i game hunt every single day mm -hmm. i don't see gamecube games right yep. i don't i see ps2 games mm -hmm. all day and they're made around the same time but again just limited quantity i right. guess basically yeah. make as many gamecube games yeah i mean the gamecube didn't it only sold around 13 million units which is not a lot compared to the ps2 sure so, there's not as many games out there in circulation. Right. All right, we're gonna open up the D through K box of GameCube. All right, here it is, right here. Hit us, hit us with Go Go Hyper Drive. So first of all, this is a heavy hitter, very rare game on the GameCube. Most, I'm sure you know, most Atlas games end up being rare, worth a lot of money. Yep. Because uh, they produce limited quantities of their games. So this is, at the time that I bought this game, it was about a $150, $200 game. Okay. I went into a retail game store near me. Okay. And I saw this sitting on the shelf with a $5 sticker on it. What? And I freaked out because it's worth how much again at the time it was worth about 100 but now now it's worth more i don't know off the top of my head but quite a bit more so uh yeah i bought this game for five dollars it doesn't have the manual but it, for five bucks i'm not going <laughs> to complain i was crazy. sweating when i took it up to the counter we have uh, another heavy hitter here with gotcha force group oh, yeah. lighter slot car thunder that's a heavy hitter I've never even seen that one. this one is sealed too factory Can't. sealed So we're we're starting to add some of these games to the to the actual wall. I don't know if I've already talked about this yet or not, but he actually is including these these plastic cases, which are awesome. Mm -hmm. Now we're not going to be able to put quite as many games. I think we're going to be one or two short mm -hmm. uh, per um, shelf, but I definitely want to keep these on there, man. Just yeah. keep, keep them protected and stuff like that. Absolutely. So those look beautiful. All right, guys, so many games to go through. I mean, that one, this one, the, uh, so many, so many games to go through. All I can say is I am ecstatic to have this collection, man. I mean, obviously, this is a lot of money. This is a lot, a lot of money, but I'm so happy it's going towards your new business. Yes. Uh, and again, how would I ever curate? Mm -hmm. you know a whole collection how, again how long did it take you to, to do this um let's see i started collecting again in august 2016 and i completed the gamecube set early 2019 so just wow a less than three years yeah jeez yeah. man that's insane dude i i was you went for it i went for it okay i went for it well again honored we're again i think i talked about it earlier we're just under 20k for mm -hmm. all the gamecube stuff and all of the nes uh ps2 the stuff we even went mm -hmm. through yet it's a lot of money but uh, I think I'm going to be able to recoup some of it from that stuff and then obviously keep an amazing GameCube collection. And it comes out to, if you go by price charting values, which yeah. is not always accurate, it comes out Pretty to close. about $29,000 worth of games that you're getting. About 30 k so, That's insane. Dude. Well, yeah, I'm happy with the deal, I'm, and I too, hope man. you're happy with it too, man. I, I'm so happy, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, yeah, and dude, thank you for uh, oh, being a gracious host and allowing me into your home and seeing your awesome game room. <laughs> and dude, I'm glad. It makes me feel good, even though this is very sad for me. Yeah. To say goodbye to my GameCube collection, it makes me feel good that it's going to a good home cool. and uh, that I'll be able to see it again. Yeah, okay. you will. You will, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. And there it is, guys. An entire Nintendo GameCube collection. Insane, guys. This is the complete North American retail 
set and I am honored to have it. Thank you so much uh, to Matt for making this deal happen. Uh, again, I, I am just, I'm just honored. I'm honored to have this, to have it in the collection, to start rolling through some of these games. And actually, I've been playing these games like crazy the past two days with my son. We are flying through games right now and it has been, it has been so much fun uh, to do that with him again. Thank you, Matt for the deal and we still have a ton of work uh, and I want to show you all of these other games that we got from Matt. There's a ton of games in here that I'm going to be able to keep and put into my collection. Insane. Guys, thank you as always for hanging out, for watching the video. If you guys are enjoying the Retro Life series, by all means, hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already and until next time, peace. <laughs>